we are talking about something a little bit more positive tonight and hopefully more uplifting. Instead of focusing on the negative stuff that's going on, we're talking about like positive use cases for crypto. Maybe fun, cool things that, you know, maybe no one's even thought of yet, but maybe we're like our own think tank and we are coming up with ideas for what use cases can crypto and blockchain have. My first benefit that I think uh, crypto has is is it is its transparency you can go back and every like for for bitcoin came out 2009 you can go back look it up on either scan you could find the genesis block and you can follow every single transaction bitcoin has ever had for the past what 14 years how transparent can you get being able to buy actually first off to be able to unplug from the centralized banking system that is liberating with crypto eventually we're going to see this where you can basically do anything with it that you want once that genie is out of the bottle guys he's out or she's out or they're out or someone's out and that's an exciting time because then it opens up so many possibilities. It's staking. You can earn crypto. You can even earn more crypto. I have HBAR in my Hashpack wallet. I'm earning extra crypto. I'm not doing anything. I'm just, it's just parked there. So the beauty with crypto is we got to remember all this FUD will pass. This all will end soon. And it's okay to feel like if you're feeling bummed out, like, oh man, the markets are down. Bitcoin was down under 25,000 out of it. So what? So what? Last time I checked, it was over 25,000. I want to know, what is your number one cool use case or idea that you have? You can keep it simple. Two words, three words. You know, uh, pay to go on SpaceX and go to outer space. That would be cool. Just have... Um, like an Amazon crypto card, you know, instead of a gift card, you can, you know, you can say, look, you know, you spend, you put $50 in fiat, you get an Amazon crypto de uh, debit card. So someone can, can, you know, do use it for however they want. Using a Coinbase card or a crypto.com card or anything like that, where you're putting, you're using, you can use it at USDT or whatever, or USD, and then you get um, rewards for using your card. I try to use this as much as I can. If I'm buying something, if I can, I, even if it takes me in a, a couple of minutes, I'll transfer it away from my regular account and put it on my Coinbase card and use that because then you get benefits. Then you get rewards like Stellar or you know, whatever you decide, you whatever you choose. You guys have heard of what the Gala Music is giving away, right? Gala Music is going to be giving away one Bitcoin. I'm not kidding you. They're having this contest. Well, I don't know if it's a contest, but you go in and you, you do all these different... We've seen them before. You know, you go like their page. You refer five friends. You connect to Discord. You connect to Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And you get all these different chances to be drawn. But they're giving away one Bitcoin for Gala Music. I'm like, you know, put in your ETH address. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing it. You know, my focus is on the gaming part of it, but I don't care. And Gala is Gala. I went on to ChatGPT and I typed in, kind of a fun little thing you can do. And I uh, I typed in um, like 20 fun like use cases for crypto that have not been invented yet. We have a cryptocurrency social networking. We have eco-friendly incentives. Virtual reality theme parks, huh? Blockchain-based esports. Personalized cryptocurrency rewards. Nice. Kind of we've been talking about that a little bit already. Some of these seem to be a little bit virtual reality dating. Well, I'm, I'm married, so I don't need that stuff anymore. I hope everyone is having a fantastic rest of your day and remember here at the crypto dojo crypto never sleeps stay positive my friends